ever found yourself pouring hours into crafting web interfaces only to end up with something that's not quite as responsive or visually appealing as you have hoped it's common challenge in the web development world where the time is precious and efficiency is key what if i told you there is a way to accelerate your development process achieving faster results without sacrificing quality yes integrating bootstrap with nextjs could be the game changer you have been lo- looking for welcome to our deep dive into seamlessly integrating bootstrap with nextjs to build responsive and a- attractive web applications if you are new here i am ayaz and i have been navigating the vast seas of web development for over 13 years from the ground up i have utilized the robust framework of bootstrap for css and nextjs for react applications delivering projects that are not just cutting edge but also highly efficient and scalable today i am thrilled to share my journey and insights with you aiming to transform the way you approach web development in this tutorial we will cover everything from setting up your next js project to weaving bootstrap into its fabric ensuring you walk away with the knowledge to create web interfaces that are not just responsive but also a breeze to develop whether you are a beginner eager to learn the ropes or a seasoned developer looking to streamline your workflow this guide has something for everyone with the combination of bootstrap component library and next js server side rendering capabilities we are about to embark on a journey that will elevate your web development skills to new heights we will start by understanding the core of our tutorial bootstrap and next js bootstrap is free and open source css framework directed at responsive mobile first front end web development it contains css and optionally javascript based design templates for typography forms buttons navigation and other interface components on the other hand nextjs on the other hand nextjs is a react framework that enables functionality such as server side rendering generating static website for react based web applications why use them together combining bootstrap's extensive component library with nextjs efficient rendering methods gives developers a powerful toolkit for building responsive high performing web applications swiftly let's get our hands dirty by setting up a new nextjs project and int- integrating bootstrap first we create a new nextjs project so for that create run this command npx create dash next dash app and project name press enter and it will ask you a few questions just select your preferences from the, the those questions and once it is installed navigate to your project folder i already have installed my next js project so it is already open in my vs code so i will be using this one so once your project is open in your vs code open your terminal and okay now let's add bootstrap to our project run the command okay now let's add bootstrap in our project let's run the command npm install bootstrap press enter you can also use yarn if you want to okay the bootstrap has been added in our node modules you can check from here as well if you want to so so you can see we have the bootstrap here in the node modules with bootstrap installed we need to import it in our next js project so let's go to our layout.esx and on the top i will import the bootstrap okay i am adding it in the layout.esx because this is the common place and the entry point so if you add css here it would be available throughout your entire application besides importing bootstrap you can use the globals.css file as well to add global styles just remember order matters import bootstrap first to override its styles easily if needed so also let me remove all of this generated code from this file as well and let's comment out this tailwind code because this was produced by the installation process now that we have set up bootstrap let's see it in action we will see the example of bootstrap grid system that is a cornerstone of bootstrap's layout capabilities so this is how we will use it for a responsive layout go to the page.esx and let's remove the main tag that has all of the generated code from the next yes okay so here i will add div dot container and within that i need div dot row and within that i need div dot call dash sm and we need three of these instances 
all right now here i will add one of three column and let's have the same text in all of these divs okay now let's look at that in the browser so you can see that grid is working perfectly fine now let's integrate bootstraps navbar so here on the top i will add our navbar okay i have added the basic code for our navbar now let's look at that you can see that navbar is working you can make it dark as well okay i have changed the classes from light to dark and here dark as well now uh, if you save it you will see that it is in dark mode and now you can add margin bottom as well okay you can see that navbar is created and it is looking great uh, in our next js project you might notice that some javascript based features like navbar toggle for mobile views are not working as expected so this is because we haven't yet imported bootstrap javascript so let's fix that now bootstrap javascript relies on dynamic client side interactions which means we need to import and initialize it in a way that's compatible with next.js client side rendering so this is the step-by-step -step guide to get everything working smoothly in that direction so first we need to import the bootstrap javascript bundle we need to ensure that bootstrap's javascript bundle is imported since we are focusing on components like navbar it's essential to import bootstrap's bundle after the component mounts to the dom ensuring it doesn't attempt to run before the dom is fully ready <clears throat> we will use next.js use effect hook for this purpose so let's do that go to the layout because we want to keep it available in the entire application so here i will create use effect and i have called the use effect function and i will pass it a callback function now and it should call this function only once when the component is mounted and now i will import bootstrap min.js i am getting this error I cannot find the declaration file so this is not important so you can just uh, ignore that error so i will just add ts ignore that will ignore the next line okay after doing that we started to see error that you are importing a con component that needs use effect it only works in a client component but not of its parent are marked with the use client but none of its parents are marked with the use client so they are server components by default so that's mean you have to convert this component into client component by using use client okay now it is saying that you have to disable this you cannot export metadata because this is now client side component and now everything is done now let's check it you can see that now javascript is working perfectly fine but what if you want to keep your application server side you don't want to convert it into the client side in that case there is another workaround that i would do is that just get rid of use client and revert it back where it was before and this time we will create a component that will do this job and we will mark that component as the client component so let me show you what i'm talking about here in the app folder i will create a folder components uh, component folder is already there so let me just delete that okay let's create a components folder and in that i will create a file uh, install bootstrap.tsx okay so now i will export it export default okay and now i want to mark it as use client and now i will return nothing and here i will move the use effect related code to that component so let's cut it from here and remove the use effect from here and go to the install bootstrap component paste use effect here and make sure to import it from the react now one last thing we have to do is that here we have to add that component install bootstrap like that okay so this will just install the script nothing else and you will not have to change the type of your app okay now let's reload it and check it all right you can see that it is still server side component but your javascript is also working okay now all of your component that are using javascript like these will definitely work by mastering the grid system and component library you are well on your way 
to building responsive and stylish web applications in next years as we continue our journey into integrating bootstrap with next years let's focus on a crucial aspect of a modern web development creating designs that respond gracefully to different screen sizes bootstrap shines in this department offering a robust grid system and utility classes that make responsive design intuitive the key to responsive design is understanding how bootstrap's grid system adapts to screen sizes so you have seen the grid in action but let's dive deeper into making your design responsive across devices consider a layout with a sidebar and um main content area so this this is how you will structure it let's go back to the nav uh, to this place i will just get rid of navbar from here and let's add a div div dot container and then we need div dot row then within that we need div dot call dash md dash four and then we need div dot call dash md dash eight okay so this is a sidebar and this is main content okay save it all right you can see it is here so in this setup the sidebar takes up four out of 12 columns on medium sized devices and larger while the main content takes the remaining eight columns on smaller screens both elements will stack vertically ensuring the content remains accessible and readable so you can see that in it is fully responsive bootstraps utility classes are a game changer for quick customization without the need for additional css so let's highlight a few that are particularly useful for responsive design so first we will talk about the visibility classes so that will control the visibility of elements without changing your html structure for example d dash none to hide an element and d dash md dash block to display it only on medium sized devices and up so let me show you what i'm talking about here i will create a div d dash none and d dash md dash block okay save it okay now let's test it now you can see it is currently visible but if you reduce it, the size on smaller screens it gets hidden next is spacing utilities you can adjust the margin and padding on all sides are individually these utilities follow the format property side and size for example you want to add empty dash two so this will add margin top so let's add another div here with those classes empty dash two mb dash three and here i will add some text this div has okay and now you can see that there is a margin top you can increase the margin as well you can see the space has been increased let's try five okay so next one is text alignment classes that ensure your text aligns differently based on screen size so for example text center for center alignment with text md left to align text to the left on medium sized devices and larger so let me quickly show you the example div dot text dash center dot text dash md dash left and here i will add text this text is centered on small screens and left aligned actually here you have to use text md start okay now you can check that it is centered in the mobile view and left aligned to the in the desktop view and here you can also use the end okay by mastering bootstraps grid and utility classes you can significantly enhance the responsiveness of your next js applications so these tools allows for fine tuned control over layout and styling across various devices ensuring a seamless user experience and that's wrap up our dive into responsive design with bootstrap by applying these principles and utilizing bootstrap's utilities you are equipped to tackle any design challenges ensuring your next js projects look great on any device one of the strengths of bootstrap is its flexibility allowing developers to customize the default theme to better align with their projects branding so in this segment we will explore how to personalize bootstrap's appearance using sas or css variables bootstrap is built in with sas a powerful css preprocessor that enables you to use variables nested rules mixins and more so now let's install a command npm install sas you you can use the yarn as well if you want to 
now let's create a file in the app i will create a file custom.scss okay now here you can redefine bootstrap default variables to match your design requirements so for example let me show you here import node modules so in this way you will add the scss of your, of your bootstrap okay here i will add the custom color so for example primary is equal to red and make sure that variable is first and then import the bootstrap sass okay and now if you go to the layout.tsx and here if we add a button dot button primary and add hello world in it so it will start to show in red instead of its main primary color so similarly if you add another variable body bg and make it red as well and if you go to the layout and here wherever you will add this class bg body it will become red okay it's better to import add these things as well like import node module scss slash functions and variable in this way you will have access to all of the variable that you will be able to use now you can also see the list of all of the available variables go to the node modules and bootstrap folder and in the scss you will find this file variables here you will find the list of all of the variables that are being used in bootstrap you can customize them as well in the same way for simpler customization bootstrap also supports css variables in some components and utilities so this method is particularly useful for themes that need to adjust color spacing or font sizes on the fly so for example if i don't want to change this then you will see that everything will come back to the same old state and now here you can add root and add B, uh, bs primary red save it and also add bs dash success okay and here you will add custom button and add background color and color should be white okay so now let's add this custom button class to this but this is still blue the reason is that our variables are defined here you have to add it after uh, this import and now it should work okay because this uh, the code in this file was overriding our variables so now we have our written that and it should work fine so by leveraging the sas or css variable you can easily tweak bootstrap's default theme to fit your project's aesthetic from changing the color palette to adjusting the spacing and font sizes so this level of customization ensures that your next JS application not only benefits from bootstrap's functionality but also aligns perfectly with your visually identity and there you have it a personalized theme that makes your bootstrap powered next JS project truly your own with these customization techniques your application will stand out reflecting your unique brand and style there are some common pitfalls to avoid using this important flag excessively to override bootstrap default styles instead use more specific css selectors or customize bootstrap through sas variable next is ignoring accessibility bootstrap comes with built-in accessibility features make sure to utilize them correctly and don't move remove the attributes like area without understanding their purpose not testing responsive design adequately always test your application on a variety of devices and screen sizes to ensure the responsive design behaves as expected tools like chrome dev tools can simulate different devices by following these best practices and steering clear of common pitfalls you will ensure your bootstrap and next.js projects are not only visually appealing but also performant accessible and seo friendly we have covered a lot today from setting up bootstrap next.js importing styles to utilizing components for responsive design and even customizing themes the synergy between bootstrap and next.js enables you to craft beautiful responsive web applications efficiently remember the key takeaways are importance of responsiveness the ease of customization with bootstrap and following best practices to optimize next.js projects 
Now that you have seen how to integrate Bootstrap with Next.js, I encourage you to start your own project, experiment with different components, customize your theme and see what amazing web application you can build. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe for more tutorials like this and share it with friends or colleagues who might benefit. Have questions or suggestions? Drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And that's it for today's tutorial on integrating Bootstrap with Next.js. You are in the right place if you are looking to elevate your web development skills. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on our future content. For more detailed guides, check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching and happy coding.